Ubisoft is really struggling right now, and while there's many reasons for that, one of the bigger ones that I've felt for a while now is that Ubisoft is losing its creativity. And I mean this in multiple ways. First of all, a lot of their games have become formulaic, meaning a lot of them feel the same. You can tell when you're playing a Ubisoft open world game, for example, because a lot of them have very similar systems. Their games haven't really evolved much over the past decade, and keep in mind, this was once a company that heavily influenced what games looked like. Again, their influence over the open world genre alone likely had a huge part in what makes open world games so frequent and popular today. Ubisoft set a trend or a precedent for these kinds of games, and today it feels more like rather than setting the trend, Ubisoft is just following them. Whether that's with the numerous attempts at having a free-to-play, microtransaction, live service-based game, whether it's a battle royale or numerous other multiplayer games, even very recently with a game like X Defiant, which by all means I've heard is actually pretty decent, but it's essentially a Call of Duty clone. What happened to the company that had all these really cool, unique ideas for new games and IPs? And this is by no means the fault of the developers, or the people actually working on these games. In fact, one of the big inspirations for this video was that one of the most upvoted threads among Ubisoft employees was that they weren't happy with the direction and higher-ups focusing on chasing trends instead of setting them. Even the people working on these games know this, and they are talented. I know it's common to kind of make fun of Ubisoft, but they have some very talented developers who, when given the chance, can do some extraordinary things. But that's the issue they aren't being given the chance. But first, I specifically want to focus on new IPs, or lack thereof, in recent years. Now, I've talked about this before, but a few years back, Ubisoft put an initiative in motion where they would focus and put a majority of their resources into expanding on already established IPs. The five series were Assassin's Creed, Far Cry, Ghost Recon, The Division, and Rainbow Six. Yes, no watchdogs, I already made a video talking about that situation, but an initiative like this has its pros and cons. Pros? Well, I really like a lot of these series, and was happy to know they won't be abandoned anytime in the near future. Cons? It seems Ubisoft would much rather put their money into series that have proven themselves and they know will make them money, rather than being a little more risky and ambitious and try to create something new. Again, I have mixed feelings about this because I've been wanting to see big new AAA IP games and ideas. It feels like almost all of Ubisoft's new games are their attempts at finally getting a free-to-play live service model to stick, or it's just a sequel to an already established IP. Really, the biggest new game, as I've just described, would be Skull and Bones. The game that has been in development for a decade at this point has been delayed constantly and has turned into Ubisoft's never-ending nightmare. They do also have these big Avatar and Star Wars open-world games, which I'm very excited for, but those obviously obviously aren't new IPs. But when else recently have we gotten a new IP from Ubisoft on the level of something like Assassin's Creed or even Splinter Cell? Where has that creativity and ambition gone? We got Watch Dogs in 2014, that's one of the biggest new ones I can remember of recent history, and perhaps The Division in 2016, and you could argue those games aren't even that creative because they do borrow a lot of ideas from already existing games, they have some unique twists on those ideas ideas though. There was Immortals Phoenix Rising a couple years ago, which I think did alright, all things considered, although I've seen it labeled as a Zelda clone mixed with Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but even that game wasn't really a new IP to the scale of something like Watch Dogs and The Division. It almost seems like they're scared to invest too much into a big new idea when they could put it all into a safe bet and use the change on these little new games. Don't get me wrong, I don't understand the corporate side of this, but but as someone who plays a lot of Ubisoft games, and enjoys a lot of them, it's something I feel like I've come to notice especially recently. So it's cool that they are doubling down on their most popular IPs and all, but I also want to see some big new ideas. Let the creative potential of your developers run wild. That's how these huge franchises got started to begin with. However, as for innovation, it's tricky. I see two common arguments when it comes to Ubisoft games, since their games don't evolve much. 
much. There's the side that thinks Ubisoft games have become incredibly tired and repetitive, since a lot of them feel the same, and that these games need to start to innovate and come up with some new creative ideas. And then there's the side that doesn't want them to innovate, or at least not too much so that their favorite series don't lose their identity and what made them special in the first place. And this applies to a lot of Ubisoft games, but mostly I'm talking about Assassin's Creed and Far Cry. I understand both sides, I really do, and it really doesn't have to be one or the other. There are ways to keep the identity and what people love about a series intact without changing it completely. Assassin's Creed Origins is a perfect example. It is very different from the kind of AC games we were used to, but in almost the best way possible, it managed to appeal to fans of the old games and bring in new players. And now with Assassin's Creed Mirage coming out and claiming to be an old school style of AC game, this is a very relevant discussion. For Mirage specifically, I think there's absolutely room to keep the foundation of what made those old games special, with a heavy focus on stealth and parkour, while finding ways to bring new ideas to the table. Because as much as we love those old AC games, I think we can all agree they weren't always perfect. Same with Far Cry, except unlike AC, Far Cry has remained mostly the same since its third entry. And again, I see some people saying Far Cry needs something new, its formula has gotten tired and stale, we need some innovation here, while others don't want something new, they want the same game, just a different setting and story. But I think with everything, there needs to be some sort of innovation, or what's the point? I'm not saying they need to completely reinvent the wheel with Far Cry, but find some new creative ideas to inject new life into it. There's a lot of ways you could do that with keeping the core of what people enjoy about it intact. The God of War series is probably one of the best examples of this, but even then, some people wish they didn't abandon the old school hack and slash formula. The GTA series may be an even better example of innovating with each game, yet keeping what makes the series what it is and what so many people love about it. It's obviously impossible to please everybody, especially when it comes to Ubisoft games, but I would at least like to see Ubisoft rise back up to that company that made new creative ideas possible popular, rather than following whatever the latest trend is in the space. And obviously, many Ubisoft employees feel the same way. There is some sign of promise in the future, though. Clint Hawking, for example, is the director of Assassin's Creed codename Hexy, and he's known for being very ambitious and coming up with new ideas. He was involved with the creation of the original Splinter Cell and Chaos Theory, Far Cry 2, and when he came back to Ubisoft, he directed Watch Dogs Legion, which wasn't the best, perhaps, but you can't deny the creativity and ambition for the kind of scope they were going for in that game, getting to play as any NPC. And please don't get the wrong idea here, this is not in any way meant to be a video of me just hating or dunking on Ubisoft. As someone who enjoys their games, and a player of theirs for a very long time, I genuinely want to see Ubisoft reach the heights they did in the past and beyond, and I think most of you can agree with that sentiment, but on their current path, it just doesn't seem like a possibility. But as always, this is all just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you left a like, and consider subscribing to the channel if you're new. And other than that, thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day, everyone.